Hello everybody, I'm Meso from Keep the Peace, and today I'm going to be doing something I've never really done before, that being opening a big box of Lego. <laughs> we were sent a package today from the Lego company, so shout out to them and everybody involved with the Lego Ambassador Network. Um, I've gotten a few packages from them before, sets for review, but never one this big. And I figured it might be a fun thing to do, to do what all the other LEGO YouTubers do and just open the box. People seem to like it. I sure like opening a box of LEGO. It's pretty fun to do. My setup finally doesn't look awful. I just got a new iPhone, so I have decent lighting right now. Why not? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open this box with these, uh, these scissors because I don't have a pocket knife handy. And uh, we're gonna see what's inside. It feels weird doing a video like this, just because I'm so used to doing like reviews or podcasts. <laughs> just like opening a box of Lego feels very normal. But uh, we are gonna get this thing open and uh, see what's inside. It's so big, it's like drowning out the shot because my room is about the size of a shoebox. But uh, I'm, I'm making my way. I'm cutting. Up. Oh. All right. The box is open. Uh, so, oh my God, wow, wow. It has paper in it. Guys, it has paper in it. This is so epic. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good to uh, packing material. Oh! Well, that makes sense. It's Lego Dreams! Oh, man. So we have site number 71458, the Crocodile Car. Sorry for the glare. I'm still learning my lighting setup. There we go. Wow. So you got Logan in his little little tiny baby form. There we go. I just had to get out of the shop for it to focus. You got the night hunter and his little motorcycle. You got the tiny little guy. I forget which one this is. Oh, well there you go. That answers that question. It's Snivel. Come on camera. The beauty of the iPhone cinematic mode is it, it it's really good. It has good focus, but you basically have to be entirely out of the shot for it to autofocus. Like it's, it's face tracking is, is pretty awesome. But yeah, if, if I lean over here, it focuses up nice. So wow, that's really cool. And you can see on the back, it has the transformation where you build like the regular car and then you can kind of transform it into either this thing or the actual crocodile thing. Sorry for the, the focus. Ugh, I gotta get used to this. This is my first video of this kind. Forgive me. Growing pains. So that's really cool. Okay. I'll uh, toss the paper off my bed. And we'll set the crocodile car just out of frame. Let's see what's next. OMG, more paper. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh, even more. All right. Pull something out at whim. Oh, this one's big. Yeah. Oh man. Set number seven one four six nine. Nightmare shark ship. Wow. Very 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 cool. We got Izzy. We got the Nightmare King. Got a bunch of guys actually. Got Nova. The super tiny Z blob. You gotta love that. Mateo, Izzy, more sniffle, Susan, and the Nightmare King himself. Oh, very, very, very nice. Love to see it. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most out of the whole wave. This is one I was definitely planning on getting, so this is really cool. Oh, thank you again, Lego. What else? Um, oh, got 71461, 
fantastical treehouse. Just super cool. Got the background here where you kind of just have, I guess, the regular treehouse, but then you can build it out in different ways or with different configurations according to the instruction booklet. This is one of the things I'm most curious about with Dreams, and I'm really looking forward in the reviews, which we will be doing for these, make no mistake, to trying out the different uh, alternate builds and seeing which one I like the most. Which reminds me, I totally forgot to show off that function with the shark ship. So you can just have like the regular boat, and then if you want, you can actually give it wheels so it can drive along the ground, which I love vehicles like that. Uh, one of my favorite things about the land bounty from the Ninjago uh, season 11 fire chapter wave was how it could actually roll along the ground. And I was a big fan of bionicle vehicles back in the day with wheels, just cause I was never the kind of kid that liked to like swoosh something around the room. I liked to actually have it zoom along my hardwood floor. So, you know, I'm just glad that stuff like that exists. Uh, yeah, these sets are not gonna fit on my bed. <laughs> this, this is a problem. Uh, let's leave them there for now. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, oh, the boy! It's the guy! 71454, Mateo and Z-Blob the robot! We love Z-Blob. If Z-Blob has a hundred fans, I am one of them. If Z-Blob has one fan, I am that one. If Z-Blob has no fans, I am dead. This is, I, I think that's how that meme goes. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> um, on the back, you can see you've got the regular Z-Blob build, but then you can make him have like a jet pack or you can give him the gun. So you can just start blasting people with slime or whatever, I don't know. But uh, I'm, I'm super happy about this. I love Z-Blob. And I, as a Bionicle fan, because I am, those who know me, those who are new to this channel, hi. My favorite theme is Bionicle. Always will be, always has been. And I'm excited by these like new designs for the figures, which kind of is an evolution of the construction formula from way back when. You know, some disagree with calling it that, but you have these new style of joints and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they'll be handled. Those are like the sets I'm looking forward to review the most besides the shark ship. And speaking of, 71455, Grim Keeper, the Cage Monster. Ugh. So on the back. So this set's a weird one because it looks like Grim Keeper himself does not have an alternate build, which makes sense. He wasn't, he didn't have one in the show, and he is a creature of, of nightmare, you know, he probably wouldn't have a dream inspired creativity transformation. So we just have a little plane or a little motorcycle for Z-Blob. Whatever, I'm not complaining. That looks, that looks fun still. All right, we're, we're getting through these. Let's see. Oh boy, 71456, Mrs. Castillo's turtle van. Come on, focus. There we go, it always takes a second. So you can see you got Mrs. Castillo in there, and Mateo, the little blob, easy blob guy, you got Zoe, and who's that? Just a regular Grim Spawn. On the back, this one's one of my favorites because you have the van, but then you can actually, like that works as a standalone set, honestly. And I think people who don't even like Dreams will be able to appreciate that, which gives this set a lot of appeal, I think. But then you can make it a goofy, like, flying turtle or a crawling turtle. Whichever you want, really. I'm a big fan of that one. I think it's, it, it kind of has the spirit of what Dreams is all about, which I appreciate. Oh, man, this box. Uh, look, this is rapidly getting... Uh, this is rapidly getting precarious, but... We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it, all right? We'll deal with it. Here. Yeah, this is good. Um, ah, got 71457, the Pegasus flying horse, which that's just what a Pegasus is. 
So thanks, dreams. Got to gotta love redundancy. Uh, with the back. Yeah, this is another one. Well, no, this is this is pretty cool. So you have the regular Pegasus. Then its first alternate form has like the full Pegasus and a little flyer for Zoe. But then the lower form has just a more normal version of the horse. I think it's the same one actually. Maybe slightly, no, that looks about the same one. But instead of giving the horse its upgrades, you have like a flyer for the Nightmare King. So it actually adds like a whole fourth dimension to the set, which I kind of enjoy. But the Pegasus with the wings does look the coolest, so I'll probably keep it. I'm also glad they put the Nightmare King in a smaller set. I think that's really important, so he's not locked behind the biggest one. Um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> We're making it happen. Gotta be nearing the end by now. So we've got 71459 Stable of Dream Creatures. And this one's really cool just because of all that it offers. It has a bunch of like wacky dream things, like the cat cactus, the little disgusting mushroom people, the blobby Z blob. Uh, another set to get, where's she at? Yeah, there's Mrs. Castillo, right in the doorway. So it's an alternate way to get her. You got Cooper, Zoe, Izzy, very cool. And then on the back, the main source of customization for this one looks to be the deer. So you have the regular version, which doesn't really look too good, the version with the pink uh, antlers. And then the bottom version, which I'm gonna be real, I think that looks kind of weird. I would not opt to display it like that. But you know, I'll, I'll review it anyway. Spoilers for the review, I guess. Not a fan of the deer. Uh, but I, I think it looks good in its, you know, main advertised form. I, I am a fan of it, and the set looks fun. Um, yeah, all right. What else? What else? What else? Oh, more, more of the figures. I live for it. Seven, one, four, five, three. Izzy and Bunchu the bunny, which is very cool. You got a Grim Spawn and Izzy. On the background, you can see the different forms Bunchu can have, just like a regular bunny, or have like the jetpack or the rollerblades. So again, a lot of depth to these build functions. Cool alternate builds, buildable figures. I'm down. This is one of the ones I'm looking forward to the most, if I have to be honest. Um, all right. Last set. Yeah. Wow. Seven one four six zero. Mr. Oz's space bus. Very cool. This one looks probably the most like normal out of the dream sets. <laughs> like you show this to anybody and it's just like, oh, it's okay. It's like a, a spaceship mixed with a bus. You know. It's not that outlandish of a concept. On the background, you have the regular version of the ship, then you have the version with the side guns, or you can build one that has like a big cannon on top. And this one's also cool because it's another way to get the uh, little version of Logan, as well as Mr. Oz and Albert. There we go. Mr. Oz and Albert the monkey as well as Susan, Denny, Proper Chopper, Captain Bedbeard. Come on, focus. There we go. Proper, oh well, it went off again. Proper Chopper, Captain Bedbeard, and Fright Night. I like this assortment. This has the most like silly little guys, I would say, out of any set in the wave. It has like eight of them, yeah. Eight of them and only two regular minifigures, which some people might not be happy about that, but I feel like that's kind of Dreams' thing, you know? So I think it's, uh, it's doing what it needs to do with that. Okay. So now that I've completely swallowed up uh, all the space in my room, can I even get this to stand? 
Okay. I think this will hold. Ta-da! You literally can't see everything. But, uh, it'll do for now, I guess. Some of this stuff's buried, like the treehouse and the shark ship. But they are all here. And uh, I want to thank LEGO once again for sending us these for review. Big shout out to the LEGO Ambassador Network. Here's the thing. I will be reviewing these, or at least some of them. No way I can do all these. My space does not accommodate for it. You can see how much it's swallowing my room just to have these. So I am going to be shipping half of these to Leo, who I don't believe has appeared on Keep the Peace yet. But if you're from our sister channel, the TTV channel, back before we started Keep the Peace, Leo did all sorts of reviews for Lego Super Mario. Uh, I think he did some Jurassic World as well, Star Wars. So he's been around the block. He's gonna help me take a crack at half these and then I'm gonna do the other half. I don't know which, exactly which ones yet, we'll figure it out, but we're gonna be getting those out very soon. So stay tuned to Keep the Peace. Uh, hit the like button if you liked this video. Subscribe and ding the notification bell if you want to be notified when we release these reviews, as well as all of our discussion podcasts, talking about Ninjago, dreams, all sorts. And uh, thank you guys very much. Leave a comment in the comment section below based on what you've seen so far. What is your favorite dreams set? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.